Hey everyone, so in this video, we're going to talk about moving meditation through parkour. And this video showcases one of the meditation techniques that I use to clear my mind. So other than the classical techniques such as walking around, sitting in a lotus position. Not that I meditate a lot, but I do want to really take a lot of time to self-reflect or in simply a dire need to get my shit together. And that happens a lot. So this, I use this technique as a form of training as well. Uh, periods where I'm not picking up or refining a technique because for that particular case, I need to be fresh. Of course, there are other types of techniques, other types of methods, such as talking to yourself, like into a third person's perspective. But then again, I guess everyone struggles with a sense of self-motivation or discipline. Maybe it's just me. Of course, stress is not always a bad thing because it leads to frustration and then self-hate and then that happens. Yeah. So it's not healthy, but hell, you get shits done. Like this particular video. Yeah. So moving on to the exhibit. Usually I would choose a bar because it's pretty easy to find and it allows a huge variety of expression of movements and techniques relatively with little to no risk with intensity that can be easily adjusted. In this case, I'm actually moving a lot faster than I like to but that's how I would usually start and gradually after a couple of sets, I find it easier to ease into that space of void. A method I would elaborate further and more extensively in a bit. So there's a huge tendency for us to hasten our movements and hence tire ourselves out really fast because this can be physically quite taxing. As you might notice here, I saw sort of like messed up but instead of merely absorbing the impact, I literally roll with it and channel the impact away into the next move. So the concept is ever so different from flow in the sense that you're not seeking to be intentional in cycling through a whole array of techniques, rather to just be in constant motion. This can be easily a high intensity workout if you don't pace yourself. So after each set, take some time to breathe, have a sip of water, but not too much so you don't get any stitches. Then when you're slightly rested, then you begin the whole set anew. You can, you can seek to incorporate the techniques that you have missed out previously. So you don't want to become too repetitive that it doesn't challenge you. So you want to like, kind of like teeter at the age of creativity in motion if you find yourself repeating a particular move too often. So how does the meditation portion of it work? So in Taoism, in Confucianism, there's a concept known as Wu Wei loosely explained as effortless action. So the sage Lao Tzu has a reputation of riding the wind, that sense of weightlessness to give suffice effort where it is due for the desired outcome, to enter the state of flow as athletes would call it the zone. So as you generate momentum and it begins to build up, learn to let go, to yield to the force, redirecting it rather than actively forcing yourself to accomplish the specific technique. So there's a degree of surrender where you only execute the move you want to do because you are led up to it uh, with the posture to set up. It might not be immediately, um, but a couple of steps away because you work your setup into it, um, but you will not actually actively force yourself to do it. So if it doesn't happen, it's really quite all right. When you mess up, what then? Well, don't resist, rather seek to channel your impact from one point to the next and then flow with it. So don't focus on the result so much uh, that you desire, rather focus on where you are now or that the failures that have happened just now but focus on what now what are you going to do right now because it really doesn't matter what you choose you just need to act so when you are flowing when do you stop? well, when you want to so is it going to guarantee to work for everyone? no, might not at least not right away the more practiced you are the more easily you get into the flow of just reacting rather than planning even if your movements are a sequence of repetitive movement is really quite alright because the main objective here isn't really about an array of techniques rather the constant fluidity in motion so to get your mind off the matter that is consuming you uh, for ever a little bit they are coupled with the training without too much of the stress for progression so I hope this concept helps uh, go on go train go try and then yeah to the next one see ya